Oh yay, welcome back! So this video will be sharing about how you actually make an animation which can be clicked and then when we click the second time again, it will actually play the animation again and again. So there's a simple way actually to do it. So under the description in the YouTube channel, you will actually see the, the links that preparing some asset file. You can actually download from the link. Okay, so uh, right now I will actually import this image into my Unity. Okay, so I will create a folder. Create a folder called Music String. Okay, then I will just put in this image. So right now, I click on this string, it will be having some animation. So at first, I will actually create as a button because this is something that we can actually click. Okay, so normally I reset this and then I put in this, set native size. Okay, so the text is no need already because um, we just want the graphic. Um, this one may call it music string. Okay, nice. So, as usual, you you can actually create a normal animation as usual. I will create from here and then from this animation window. If you actually wanted to know more, you can always follow me in another YouTube video, which is the animation. Okay. So here, right now, drag this. Okay. Cool. That's what we have. Okay. So if you actually wanted to slow down this animation, you can do so by Reduce the sample, that's the first way. Then this time I will be just stretch out, right? So then it will become slower. So besides, there's another method on um, slow down this animation, which is you select the first one and select the last one by using shift, right? When you actually select everything, when you hover to here, you will see the um, arrow left and right, right, drag to the right side, it will be actually extend this um, timeline. So, right now, your animation will be getting slower compared to just now. Okay, so, so right now, I will save my scene first. Okay, use extreme. Okay, cool. So, as normal when we play. It will have the animation ready. Right? Because of this animator automatically play already. So to actually fix it, create empty states. Okay, so normally I will call it Edo. So right now this entry point will go into here. So so no, uh, the, the video previously that I uploaded is actually straight away like that. But right now we are going to use something with, um, with some condition. Okay, I will say. So I will make transition to here, music string. Okay, so after one click, it will be actually going back to the either mode here. So right now, for what condition I will go there? And then it will come back automatically. Okay, so you can actually go to this parameter over here. The list is empty right now. So because we didn't add anything before that, okay, we have to add from this plus button here. I'm going to introduce trigger. Okay, so trigger. So I call it trigger music string. Okay, so this trigger. 
Later, we actually use this thing in our code when we calling the button to be clicked. Okay, so here the condition I will add in. Yep, when we go, it can be triggered and then come back. Okay, this this no need to put is okay. Okay, so right now we are going to do the scripting part. Okay, I create an empty to hold my script. Call it script holder. Okay, I'll go to my script folder, create a script C sharp script. Call animation set trigger, yeah. Or you can call it music string. Also, it's okay. So you know, it's actually referred to this. Oops, what happened? Maybe still loading my script. Okay. So I can drag here. Then you open up the script. So after you actually open the script, because it's a button, later we'll click on the music string. So I will probably I have a function called click music string. Okay, so um, just now the trigger is actually belongs to animator. Okay, so only we can actually access to this um, trigger music string. So right now, I will actually define a public animator. Oops. Okay, animator. And then um, call it music string anim. So here this is our action dot play. Normally we use dot play to play a video clip, right? Oh sorry, not video clip. Play an animator animation clip. But right now because we are going to use set trigger. So here will be actually dot set trigger. Okay, so set what trigger in here. So right now, if set trigger, this is a string, okay? So the string name will be this, trigger music string for, for our code. So here, put trigger music string. Okay. So when we have this ready, remember to assign to your button as well. So I'll go to my button, assign the function, so the script holder, and then press, click music string. Okay, cool. So when I press on the play, when I click, oh, oh, and assign references, the variables did, have not been assigned. Okay, so we have to check our script just now. Okay, when we create a public animator, remember to assign because it will appear in the editor and you have to assign. Okay, so when I press on the play, so I press, yep, this will coming back. When I click, go, come back, click, go, come back. Okay, so that is actually how set triggers going to be done. Um, instead of like I keep calling just a uh, one um, animation clip, you can actually use make use of this transition. Okay. Okay. So as except that if you actually click into this transition, right, you will just seeing that there's some setting over here. So if you actually happen to be having some delay, like click and then very slow to respond to it, right? So you can actually make it like probably the transition duration. You can actually make it to zero. Okay. Then it will actually solve the problem of delaying. Okay, when I play. Yep. 
looking better compared to just now. Okay, so you can actually have some setting over here. You can actually put different condition as well. Okay, so there's few condition you can use which is flood in boolean, you can actually use in the code also. Okay. Yep. So the exit time is actually um, how long for the animation to be exit after that. Yeah, you can actually play around with this number as well. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, share and subscribe me. Thank you.